We've been waiting for this day. This is the day of our salvation. Christ's resurrection, Christ coming to life, means that you and I come to life. That's what we've been waiting for. On Thursday, Holy Thursday, our gospel was also from John, and it was the John account of the Last Supper. And in that account, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. And when he washed their feet and sat down afterwards, he asked them a question. Do you realize what I have done for you? That question has been echoing in my heart and in my ears since Holy Thursday. Do you realize what I have done for you? The whole of creation speaks that question to us. Last night at the vigil, our first reading was the creation account, and we read how from nothing God created everything. All that came into being was due to God's manifest power, the word spoken in Jesus Christ. And at the end of that reading, I could hear the echo, do you realize what I have done for you? Our second reading last night at the vigil was the Exodus story, where Moses led the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt, passing through the Red Sea and the sea collapsing on Pharaoh's army. And the people were ultimately led to freedom. And afterwards, I could hear the echo, do you realize what I have done for you? In our opening reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter's proclamation, Peter took the people through the entire story. Do you not know the one that came that was among us, that ministered to us and healed us? Do you realize what I have done for you? The one who was taken and nailed to a tree, condemned unjustly, but suffered death and was buried in a tomb. Do you realize what I have done for you? And now this Jesus who was dead is now alive. He has risen again that we might have life. Do you realize what I have done for you? As Catholics, we do a very good job of being a Lenten people. We dress in purple, and we give up our candy and our Coke, and we eat our fish sandwiches. But do we do a good job of being an Easter people? Do we realize what God has done for us? Being an Easter people is something that we live every day. Lent is 40 days, Easter is 50. But really, Easter is something that we celebrate every Sunday and really every day. Every time we ask ourselves, do I realize what Jesus has done for me? That, friends, is the heart of being a disciple of Christ. We celebrate today a Eucharist. The word Eucharist means thanksgiving. Thanksgiving flows from realizing what Christ has done for us. Friends, now is the time of our salvation. This is the Lord's day. Christ is risen from the tomb. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.